Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. Today I am here with a teeny tiny little post review for you guys. I can imagine that this video is probably not going to be very long, but that's okay. Um, I am going to be talking about a kit that I actually just unboxed with you guys on Wednesday. So if you want to see the unboxing for this one, it is my most recent video, but it will also be in the unboxing playlist. The canvas is actually crooked. So the image, in order to have it like straight, I have to make the canvas itself crooked. Anyway, this one is a big red. This is an Amazon exclusive Diamond Art Club kit. It is a 22.8 by 22.8 centimeter round drill kit. The artist for this one is... Annie Tro. I don't know that there's anything from this artist on Diamond Art Club's website. It sounds like a new artist to me, but if you have seen something else from her, from them, I should say, please let me know because I really did enjoy this one. Now, this diamond painting had 52 colors with two ABs and two fairy dust drills. I started this one on November 4th and I finished it on the 6th. I definitely could have finished it on the 5th, but I think I ended... I had like one tiny section left and I was like, oh, I could just sit here and finish the section or I could just go out into the living room and lay on the couch. So that's what I did. <laughs> so I did finish this one on the 6th, but I definitely think that you could probably finish this in a day or two. Um, it's a very cute finish and I have to say for this really, really small size, I feel like it looks pretty good. Obviously, we're talking about a diamond painting here. If this were larger, you would have more detail. But if you look at the original artwork, it definitely has like... I'm trying to think of how I want to describe it. It has kind of like a watercolor wash type feel. So I feel like considering the size, this came together quite well. Um, again, like I mentioned, I finished this one pretty quickly, but I will say that the drill field was definitely not as sticky as I would have liked it to be. Um, I had trouble getting drills off of my pen. Things were kind of like slipping and sliding around. Nothing was really like sinking into the poured glue. Uh, that is something that I tend to notice with Diamond Art Club. Uh, I feel like I have that happen more often than not these days, but, you know, it kind of is what it is. <laughs> so, obviously, I would like to see that improved. I do feel like older Diamond Art Club kits, I don't know if it's that, that there was more of the poured glue put onto the canvas or it was just a different quality. I don't really know, but... I noticed it a lot with this kit that when you were pushing the drills in, it wasn't, they weren't like sinking in to the glue to like really hold on to them. They were kind of just sitting on the surface. So I don't know if maybe the kits could use a little bit more glue. I, honestly, I know nothing <laughs> about manufacturing a diamond painting. So this is just me talking out of my ass, honestly, but it's my experience. So I'm going to tell it to you. Um, I do feel like they could use a bit more adhesive. Hopefully that makes sense. Obviously I finished the kit. I continue to work on Diamond Art Clubs because I do enjoy them. Um, but it is something that I tend to notice more often than not with the newer kits. Also, something that I found interesting is this top corner don't the colors just look a tiny bit off? Now, I know that they're correct. It just seems like there's such a stark line right here. Like, from here over, it just seems like such a stark line. It seems like the colors are just a little bit off. I know I placed the right symbol because I went back and double-checked. Um, I just don't know that it blends as well as the rest of the kit. It just looks a little funny to me definitely let me know what you guys think um here is the original artwork and I I can see you know like the sky changes color obviously this is a cloud and then the sky behind it is a bit of a different color but in the rendering it just looks kind of stark 
then again, I guess it kind of looks like that in the painting. I don't know. It just, it, it stuck out to me and I found it a little bit interesting that it just kind of looks very obvious. <laughs> so that's that. <coughs> Excuse me. One other thing I wanted to talk about with the Amazon exclusive kits is in the past. Now I worked on a kit from them, from the Amazon shop. Was it in September? It was the little black cat with the snail making friends. I think it was called, um, or was that the tabby cat? I think it was the tabby cat with the snail. The other one has a black cat. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I have mentioned that on that one and then some, some of my previous Amazon exclusive kits that I felt like the symbols were a touch big. I'm happy to report that I do not feel that way with this kit. I did not notice as I was working on it that the symbols were poking out. Um, I feel like it just came together so much better than some of my other Amazon exclusives. Uh, so just kind of like showing you guys the background here just a little bit. I don't see any symbols poking out, which is great. I was really, really happy. I noticed that kind of right away that I wasn't having a bunch of symbols that were poking out of my drills and I very much enjoyed that. So happy to report that that seems to have been resolved or maybe I just had a couple of iffy kits and this one with the symbols and stuff was just better. So all in all, I'll talk to you guys about my drills here in a second. This kit was a lot of fun to work on. Now, this is $14.99 on the Amazon Diamond Art Club storefront. I will have a direct link to this kit in the description. I'll also have my Amazon storefront. Just as a disclaimer, those are both affiliate. So if you purchase through those links, I will make a small percentage off of that. Um, $14.99 to try Diamond Art Club kit. I was pretty happy with that. Obviously, I know I like Diamond Art Club, but if you're somebody who is maybe new to Diamond Art Club or new to diamond painting as a whole, and you hear a lot of people talking about the quality and all that stuff, but you don't want to pay the super big price tag to start out with, I think this would be a really fun kit to... To give a shot. Now I thought this one was really nice as a transition from fall into early winter. It's not winter here for quite a while. We have a lot of fall left but I thought that this was a really cute transition piece into some of my Christmas kits that I plan to work on later in the month and I kind of just needed a finish. You know when you diamond paint and sometimes you do these really really big kits and they just take so long I worked on a lot of dark projects in October and just having this really cute quick finish with a pretty bright color palette, the pops of red and you have the oranges and blues and yellows and it was just nice to work on and it feels good to be, to be able to like check off my first finish for November. So big fan of this one, really enjoy the price point, really enjoyed the kit as a whole. If you are looking for a smaller Diamond Art Club kit, I definitely recommend this one. Let's talk about the drills really quickly. Um, I did have some trash, but it's honestly kind of funny to talk about it because I think maybe I can count how many, <laughs> how many drills. Yeah, two, four, six. We have six trash drills here. Um, obviously we have like a half drill. We have one that has a hole on it. I think these two also have holes on them. Yep, on the top. We have a really weird shaped piece. And then this drill also has a hole in the top. So nothing crazy trash wise. I had plenty of every color. It was kind of funny kidding this one up and working on it because when I would go to dump out the drills, there some of them have like 15 drills <laughs> total so it was just really funny to be emptying those out into a tray there were so few drills that I couldn't even use my spoon that I usually use with the crockmate lockables so the drills were pretty good I had plenty of everything it didn't run out of any colors and that is very exciting and we have a Luna hello Luna was supervising me finishing this diamond painting. I'll go ahead and pop up a picture of that for you guys here because it was very cute. What are you doing? 
Okay, and for my accessories for this one, I used a tray from Muni Made. I have not ordered from Muni Made in a very long time. Um, so this is the style that has the, what are these called? The grid lines that go all the way up. I believe she now has like staggered so the drills don't get backed up, which is nice. But this tray, this tray works just fine. So I had this really pretty bright red to go along with this pen. This is actually a Diamond Art Club pen from a few years ago at this point, but the colors were absolutely perfect. I believe this was actually called like Fallen Leaves or something. So perfect pen. And where's my cover minder? Oh, here it is. My cover minder is this little pusheen in a pile of leaves. I believe this is from Galloway's Gallery. And then for my putty, I used Warm Log Cabin from Rando's Crafty Corner. And washi tape, I just used uh, this kind of neutral watercolor, I would say. Let me open it. Yeah, kind of watercolory tape from Amanda Michelle Designs. So that is everything for today's post review. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this teeny tiny <laughs> little kit completed. I'm really glad I was able to wrap it up in a couple of days so that I had a video for you guys today. Um, again, I will have links to this one down in the description. And I think that'll be it for this week. So I do have videos planned for you guys on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of next week. So hopefully you guys will come back and check that out. Uh, I hope everybody has a great weekend and I hope to see you all on Monday. Bye.